Welcome back to Vagabond Awake. This is Dan. <laughs> and today, Chung and I are going to answer the question, what were things about living in the Philippines that surprised you, both good and bad? The first thing, you have to turn very fast. You have a beautiful ass body over there. We're going to show you where we are first. Though. Here we go. <laughs> too bad. It's too late already. Okay. I got it. You didn't got it, right? All right. Okay. So, you want to start? Good. You cut this thing? Yeah. Okay. Mm, so, what is in your mind? What is Philippines surprise you that you live in that for like seven months, eight months? Yeah. So we. We always read about visas before we go to a country because we want to know how long we can stay there so we can figure out you know, what the true costs are, that kind of thing. And when we read about the visas on the, uh, online, um, we didn't realize that you can stay in the Philippines for 36 months without doing a visa run. Yes. That's the longest I know of in the world. That's why you will see a lot of people go to the Philippines. Yeah. And, it, and it's cheap. It's thirty dollars a month to stay in the Philippines, and you can do it for thirty-six months. And at the end of thirty-six months, you just have to do you just have to do a visa run, which means you jump on a plane. You can fly anywhere, you know, Vietnam or, you know, or go somewhere for a week or two. Maybe you want to fly to Bali or Malaysia, and then boom, you're back in the Philippines for thirty-six more months. Now they change visa rules all the time, so who knows if this will be true in a year or two when you're listening to this. And right now we're in COVID, so they're not even open, but. But that really surprised me. Yeah, what about you? What's something that surprised you, good or bad? When I uh, go with you when we arrived in the um, Philippines, that surprised me is Philippines is a smoke free country. Smoke free country. Which is that uh, when we arrive in Davao, yeah. the, you cannot simply smoke on the place. You know, you have to go to the place that they need. Designated. Designated for you to smoke. Yeah. And when we go to Davao and then some Kagaya de Oro and you know and what you know, they have a place that for them to smoke. Yeah. Most of the city. Yeah. I cannot say like small city maybe, you know, they, yeah. they don't care they like the smoke, but in the big city, yes, you need to be followed the rules. Yeah, it surprised me and I am very happy with that because in the bar yeah, I remember in Dava, you cannot smoke inside the bar. Yeah, which is nice. I mean, assuming you're a non-smoker, yeah. you can breathe. You can go to a bar and breathe, go to a pool hall and breathe, yeah. go to a anywhere indoors and no one's smoking around you. Even outdoors, you're, you don't smell smoke very often yes. because you have designated areas. Yeah, that's what I love about Philippines. Yeah, it was very nice. Yes. Totally. So, anything else for uh, you? Let's see. Oh, one thing that surprised me about the Philippines um, that I hadn't seen before is that people usually live in cities um, and Phil let's face it the Philippines is known to be a beautiful beach right we've all seen the photos we live there we know we've been all over the place waterfalls white sand beaches turquoise water it's like unbelievable but what you don't realize is that many of the places people live there isn't a beach in front like here right now you just saw where uh, where we are uh, in Mexico right now, there's white sand beach, turquoise water, you know, all the all the trinkets you're expecting when you come to Mexico. Uh, and we get to the Philippines and we're in a city and we're like, where's the beach? Oh, there's no beach, you have to take a ferry. And it wasn't bad, it was maybe the first city we got to. Davao was maybe 30 minutes or 20 minutes, to just a drop to gorgeous island. But the idea of just walking out of your house or running on the beach in the morning and that kind of thing you get used to in some places, not in the Philippines. I'm saying there's some exceptions. Like we really love Siki Oh uh, yeah. And that had beautiful beach and it's a yeah. small island you can get to with about a one hour ferry ride from, from the, uh, then we get there. Yes. Um, so there's exceptions, but overall where most people live, there isn't a gorgeous beach in front of their the city they live in. Yeah. That was kind of a bummer I thought. Yeah. So what about you? What's something else surprised you? Um, Wow, when you come to Changhui, food is very important. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like their food, but uh, they are mostly it's a meat eater, you know, um, 
boys meat, chicken, pork, chicken, pork, fish, chicken, pork. Yeah, it's still okay, but I like more veggie table, you know, like, like veggie, uh, different kind of uh, vegetarian dishes, you yeah. know. And, uh, well, you're from Malaysia, one of the best food places in the world. So you were used to a lot of choice, yeah. very spicy, yeah. a lot of a lot of vegetables in your rice and Like Thailand and Vietnam. Thailand, they Vietnam. have a lot of vegetable for you, which I love vegetable. You yeah, know, raw yeah. vegetable. It's not just salad, salad. salad. No, no, I, I want vegetable dishes with a little meat. You know, I would like to eat more healthy. So that is a problem for me. That. Uh, why I need to be cook myself in the house yeah. because I need to eat more vegetable. Right. Yeah. But the fried chicken is so delicious. The fried chicken. <laughs> yeah and uh, <laughs> I can't remember their the local dish the pork dish. The right. green pork. Oh yeah, the, the stuff you used to buy in Valencia in the park. Yeah yeah I can't remember yeah. the meal but you will see here. Yeah. Uh, I love it as well but you cannot eat meat every day. It's not good. No. Uh, for me, I don't like it. I eat only once a week, yeah. you know, two times a week, that's all. And the Philippines are notorious for not having the best food in the world, let's face it. Uh, a lot of people, when we look at, when we ask people about the food, they say that is the only choice. That is a, that is a negative that's thing. That's a negative thing in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't say their food is not good to us. I would like to have more choices. Right. So we've been in a number of countries, I don't even know how many over the last three years. Um, and one thing I saw in the Philippines that I didn't see anywhere else that really surprised me was older men with younger women. Uh, we don't see that everywhere else as much. Thailand? Thailand, but when I was in Thailand, you see it. But not that obvious. It's not that obvious and it's also, it's also in the places where there's like strip clubs and it, 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 they don't look like normal relationships I mean, to me at least. I mean some of them are, many of them are in Thailand. But in the Philippines these are like couples where the man is, you know, much older than the woman and they're just living a life. I mean we're an example of it of course, but but um, but it just was surprised how much I like, how much of it I saw in the Philippines. Yeah, there is more obvious compared with the other country. Yeah, like right now we're in Mexico, I mean but do we see much of it? No. Maybe unless, two, three couples have been here, whatever. And then you have money, then you got the money. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing with poor man? <laughs> uh, uh, no tries, I need to pin him out, you know. Any, <laughs> any recommendations for me that way I can sell this guy? <laughs> You're going to pimp me out. <laughs> Why don't I pimp you out? <laughs> no, it's, they don't like, you know, flat body, skeletons, too skinny, oh, no meat, yeah. you know. <laughs> I'm sure they all agree that you have a terrible body. <laughs> yeah, and so what is the thing in the Philippines? Um, what is the thing is in the Philippines? Surprise me is uh, my friend. They are very friendly. Friendly. Yeah, they are very friendly. Yeah. Uh, I have a bad experience in the Philippines before. Is in the. Very nice 
events when I just walking by myself alone, speed out dance, and then always on the computer. And yeah, I just enjoy myself to go around, to walk. People will help me, you know. Uh, like in Dominica, I go for my haircut and uh, try to get taxi back, and the taxi try to scam me, you know, the higher price, you know. So I go to the uh, local people. They have a booth that's like people taking care of the, you know, the area. Like in a small town, you can get away with 20. See, they don't overcharge you. They charge a I mean. dollar. Yeah. yeah, they don't overcharge you because that's why I tipped them four dollars. Yeah. Chumbo is very happy with that. I <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> like that is very nice because this guy he didn't try to scan us as yeah. we are the you know foreigners, but just one dollar fifty pesos. Wow, that's like the guy, the motorbike guy, also say the same thing. It's only you know one dollar. Yeah, yeah. So we met a lot of nice people in the uh, Philippines, which yeah. is not in the tourist town. Yeah. yeah, we just like almost everyone we met in the Philippines is really nice to us. Yeah, it's very nice to us. It's really very nice to us. Yeah, they're very nice people. They have very nice people. Please like this video, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. We'd sure appreciate it. Thanks so much. Don't give up on your retirement dreams. Come check out our retired cheap reports all over the world. You can probably retire somewhere in the world beautiful like this for much less than you thought. Thanks for watching. Click the link below this YouTube video.